Hello friends, this is Cold Run back with Dragon Age Inquisition, and we are here in Skyhold, uh, as we've been for a little while now, and I think we're kind of wrapping up. I'm trying to remember what comes next, what I've missed, um, and my cat pigeon is chiming in. Hey friend! So, um, I'm going to head to pick up some of those quests that I turned in, and then just do kind of a last run through to see, uh, if there's anything that I missed afterwards. Because I saw some stuff appear, like there's this thing from Cullen that I didn't see before that's now up at the top of the parapet. Um, but first, let's do let's take a look at the quests. All right, Ferelden. Okay, this has got to be first. Harden Hightown and Savory, Paral Savory Parallels. Um, a letter has arrived at Skyhold, addressed to nobody. No one saw the courier who brought it. You will encroach upon the domain of you encroach upon the domain of higher powers. You will answer to us. The letter is unsigned except for a wax seal depicting six crossed swords. I don't know what that means. Completed. I guess we completed it. Um, there's probably going to be a follow up at some point in the near future. Um, truth or dare, seen, be seen. My dear Josephine, I passed along the news of de Maurier's visit to a few influential parties and implied that he was, perhaps, trying to butter both sides of his bread. I would describe the outrage this idea provoked, but that would make this letter indecent, and your spy mistress would abscond with it. You play as beautifully as ever, my dear. I can hardly wait to see what de Maurier's next move is. Give my love to your parents. Yours, the Comtesse Elodie de Moreau. I'll be honest, I don't remember what this quest was. Um, I was hoping the context would give me a clue, but it did not. So I'm sure we'll see in the future. Um, information from the Grand Enchanter. Commander, prisoners released today. Punishment seems a little soft for nearly killing one of our own troops. Right, this is the mages who had, like, taken a stab at people and killed them and then got caught again. Uh, yeah, punishment seems a little soft for nearly killing one of our own soldiers, and some of the troops are grumbling about it. I'll keep an eye on the situation. Knight Captain Brienne. Okay, so we got a few little quests done. Uh, what else? Power for a price. Let's see what this is. A formal document with impe impeccable filigree. It is time. The Inquisitor commands a small kingdom. It is time to exercise the weight of her influence. There remain uninvolved and uncommitted lords and ladies, bands and arles. Where they could not be engaged with plight or passion, they can be completed through mercenary means, compelled through mercenary means. But there must be a display. Make it known that the Inquisition has weight in the boons, and the dispensations of the powerful will be open to you. Thereafter, she need not curry influence. She can simply buy it. Esteemed Ferris, the representative. This definitely seems like a uh, not Colin thing. Oh wow, Colin has the lowest time. Josephine, fed of your own to display the allied and powerful. Like, yeah. Well, Liana, do not display. We will show your reach by simply being where it is most beneficial. Colin, a grand march. If we were to show weight, show the legion what you are, that you com that that you command. <laughs> the esteemed Ferris, the representative. I mean, the game is telling me that Cullen is the guy for this one. Grand March, I don't know. Do not display. We will show you your reach by simply being where it's most beneficial. A fet displayed to the Allied and Powerful. I am going to go with, uh, I don't know, I'm going to go with Liliana on this one. I think she's, now nah, this feels like a, oh gosh, I don't know. This is, what gets me about this, even though it doesn't matter, is that it's a question of, like, what do I think is a cool way to be powerful and show power, and I'm not normally for Cullen, but that seems like a good thing to do. Liliana, and same with Josephine, kind of just showing off ourselves. Yeah, I mean... Let's try Cullen on this. To work? To work. Uh, yeah. Any of these that are still available? Yeah, those are the two resources which I don't really care about. Find the Warden. That's like a main quest, and I don't want to do that just yet. This one's still... 
This one still bugs me. Just my Dalish house. Yep, my full family is dead. Oh, well, whatever. I guess it's not really a big deal in this game. Strike a bargain with merchant princes. Um, Inquisitor, you're the allied merchants of the monarchy of Antiva have inquired whether they can assist us in any fashion. They could provide us with some of the finest goods on Thetis. In Thetis, a powerful boost to our prestige and spread our influence north. The merchant princes will also attempt to ensnare us in contracts so convoluted that we will be eternally tied to them. If we are interested, we must send our most skilled negotiators. Our diplomats are well respected, and I feel we can come out ahead in the bargain of the bargain if we are prepared to commit to it. Ambassador Montelier. Josephine, this is all you. Um, it also could be, um, I don't know, could be Loyama. I have chosen a few diplomats to handle the merchant princes. I will, of course, inspect everything we sign myself. Yeah, Josephine. Inquisitor. And... Dorian's request... Let me, oh, Dorian I do want to, well, no, I talked to Dorian. Um, there was one new one that I was looking for, Friendly Karnas, Stop Venatory Activity. This one, Locate Recent Evangeline, this is the Cole quest. Sister Leliana, yeah, and this is all Leliana. Um, per your request, after seeing that no mage named Reese was present at the Conclave, uh, at the time of the explosion, I began my search. It appeared, based on the reports gathered from rebel mages, that Reese had originally intended to be at the Conclave, but the former t the Templar Evangeline persuaded him not to attend. She believed corruption within the Templars so sought to exasperate the conflict, exacerbate the conflict, and this merited investigation. Evangeline was last seen not far from Val Fermin, where a merchant described her as fighting other Templars and being taken, injured, but alive. Rhys came through the area not long after, searching for her. The forests had her near Val Fermin offer many places to hide, but the Inquisition could track down these renegade Templars if you so order. Yours in service, Walker. This is one of Loliana's spies. Walker knows the area. She and her scouts can get Reese and Evangeline out safely. My men can cut through the forest and recover Reese and Evangeline safely. My friends in the area gladly help rescue someone so important to the Inquisition. Liliana. This is all Liliana. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. So they're still alive, so Cole's story will progress. Um, I got to... Yeah, so uh, I'm going to... Just to kind of do a, a last lap around uh, oh, Varric doubly approved. I don't know why. I guess maybe that's the hard and high town thing. What's the question mark? I don't know. All right, so Varric's got a quest for me. She's calmed down. Oh, this is from the fight. Down. This is from the fight with I think Cassandra. You can take your hand off your crossbow. Define calm down for me in terms of who or what she's punching right now. I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. Choose a side. I believe you knew about Corypheus. Again, I'm I'm totally okay with um with Varric having hid the information of hid like Hawk's location from Cassandra because he didn't know her intentions. He didn't even if he knew there was a threat, he didn't trust that Cassandra wouldn't just try to yoink him and imprison him and clap him on irons or whatever. Um Yeah. Uh Hawk should have joined sooner. Talk to Cassandra. I believe you. I, think I it's know kind Varric. of I believe you. You never would have kept quiet otherwise. I keep hoping none of this is real. Just a second, my computer is having hiccups. It keeps restarting. I'll be back in a sec. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Something in my comp my computer was loose, and the computer literally just kept turning off and on repeatedly over the, every second or so. So that was scary, but I think it's okay. I missed that conversation, and I feel bad about it. 
Rivius is back. Oh, shit. You said he was a darkspawn or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Gentry Tale. So there's um, there's a Star Trek episode. Star Trek. I, I don't remember if it's Next Generation or Deep Space Nine, but some Star Trek episode where basically Klingon Jesus comes back and everyone's wondering is he a fraud is he real is he fake is he lying of course he's lying turned out he wasn't lying but he also wasn't actually Klingon Jesus he was like implanted with his background and his memory and the memories and everything that was like the the re that was like in the Klingon Bible or whatever I, I don't know Star Trek that well um and so he honestly believed it himself, even if it wasn't the case. I wonder if there's something similar going on here. Where, like, he's... Is he really a priest of Dumont? Dumont, I'm guessing, is one of the old gods. I don't know. We beat him before. It's not that bad. We need about... Yeah. We'll talk to this warden friend of Hawks and draft a plan to kill this dark spawn. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? That's a good Corypheus question. Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. Weird shit. <laughs> we tracked the Carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus, and they drew us into the prison to get it. And again, one of you confirmed, I, I apologize, I don't remember remember the name but of the person who said this, but one of you confirmed that this was a Dragon Age 2 DLC. Um, so I'm guessing this is all just recounting the story of that. So they needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus, and they drew us into the prison to get it. Um, yeah, okay. I hope you're wrong. Everything dies. We'll find a way to kill him. Nothing is unkillable. Grr. I'm not so sure about that. Do the things in the Fade really die? That's Baker's breath. What a good question. Loose? This isn't your fault. I think you're confused. Doesn't matter. Where's the you fucked up option? Uh, no, he's. I'm sure he didn't. I'm sure there was really no other way. Um, this isn't your fault. Doesn't matter. You had nothing to do with this, Farrak. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carter to that ruin. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. I don't know why, but is it just me or are dwarves in this game, male and female, super hot? All of them. Or, you know, a lot of them compared to other games. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Um, the voices, all of it. Um, seems like there's still a quest here. Fighting a losing battle. Battling the demons of paperwork? That's a fight nobody walks away from clean. I say that you have no idea with experience, the yes. Of times I've almost been killed by bills of lading. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed the chosen one before. Just be my friend. Make it up as you go. <laughs> just do what I do. No, just be my friend. Just be my bro. I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. I like that I haven't really pursued like a single characteristics in my character, but this seems to be an ongoing thing that um, Alana just doesn't understand how overwhelming her aura must be to others. What am I to them? What am I to you? That feels like a romance option, but I doesn't. There's no heart there. Can't be bigger than myself. Yeah. 
There's no way I can be bigger than myself, Varric. Sure you Staying can. Stay humble. You don't see yourself like they do. The sky tears open, demons everywhere. To ordinary folks, these are the end times. The only hope they have is you. You're the sign that somebody might hear their prayers. That maybe they're not abandoned hmm. after all. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked. Please don't sing. <laughs> Please tell me you're not going to burst into song now. I would. Oh don't no! Don't worry, I'm not that cruel. I hope one day I you can be that cruel. Get back to work, unless uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace. This is a card game, I'm guessing maybe. Uh Varric is like best bro. Looking for someone to talk your ear off? I think I can oblige. Uh, Cassandra wants a book. Oh yeah, that's for, oh my god, yes. Cassandra's waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my book. Yep, she's your number one fan. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. I'm betraying her trust, and I don't care. About the same Cassandra, tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things. <laughs> Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. It doesn't have to be great in order for it to have a following, for it to catch, have a thing. There's plenty of books I love that are not great books, but they just have a certain something that makes me keep coming back to them. Uh, Cassandra seems to like can't be that bad. No wonder she was embarrassed. I need it as a gift. Um, I want to support this as much as possible. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. You were so, wrong. You want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial? For Cassandra. Oh god, Alana ships oh, the hell out of these two. Idea. I have to do it. On one condition. I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. Yes, I'll we're going work, there. Man. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. I was listening to a podcast at Jimquisition the other day, and they were talking about how one one guy, I don't remember his name. Um, Gavin, I think, was talking about how some people who are not great singers, when they pretend to sing badly, they actually sing well because they kind of let themselves go and stop being held back by shame. They're just kind of throwing themselves into it. And maybe it's that way with the romance novel. Maybe he's just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. What's this? To step on your toes, you know. mm. An interesting grunt. <laughs> special shipments. What are these special shipments? Staff of Aiden, Blade of Tuna, Blade of Tuna, Staff, Sword of Charis, Charis. What are these things? What are these weapons? One was a staff. Yeah, Staff of Aiden Allied. What? What? Why do I? Why did I just get things sent to me? They don't seem like they're that good. Um, Vivian, is this better than what you have? Yeah, no, I guess this is better than what you have. The spread of Red Lear is Staff of Aiden Allied. The... Check that out. It's like... It's like someone... It's like there's a heart. It's like someone installed a giant pulsing heart into this into the tip of it. Um, spread of red lyrium is an inexorable, unending. The key for turning corrupted foes against their masters. This nightmarish practicality identifies the work as that of inimitable Arcanist Dagna. Like all children of the stone, she doesn't have to worry how such experiments might affect her dreams. She keeps track of their names, though. That's about respect. Key for turning corrupted foes against their masters. I'm just trying to process this. The nightmarish practicality identifies this work as that of inimitable Arcanist Dagna. She doesn't have any. Okay, so it turns 
like red templars against their masters the like all children of the stone she doesn't have to worry how such an experiments might affect her dream because she doesn't dream so she does she can do some heinous shit she always she keeps track of their names though that's about respect the names of the people who she turns against them others i don't know and then blade of tuna ally yeah they all have that same like bloody thing in there sort of charis allied and then what is this thing has the same thing, yeah. So these all have the same same effect. You notice the anchor? You seemed impressed by the anchor. What does it look like to you? I heard what everyone says. What you heard Corypheus say. That's a long chain of who said what. To me, it says key. But keys do a lot of things: open, lock, switch. Some open one thing. Some open everything. It sounds like Corypheus made it to open. But it looks like you can use it to close. It oh, that simple. I forgot what the anchor sure is temporarily. Wish I could see through it. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is good for now. Let's check in with Cullen. Oh, wait. There's something to read over here. The Undercroft. Cataloging Skyhold. Undercroft Editions. Difficult. To be clear, we can add all the equipment our backs can bear, but structural changes are best avoided. With new walls and such, you need anchors to tie in new stone, which means excavation. And I wouldn't go messing with the Undercroft. Seems like it was built to purpose, whatever that was. The whole keep has settled on top of it. It's weathered some serious heat and pressure. There are spots that feel like the inside of a forge, large spots. No idea what that means. It's as solid as you get, so fill it full of toys and tools. So, th but there's a dwarven name for someone who tries to change an old build like that. Sodding fool. Structural evaluation for Lady Lovellin's consideration. Mason Gatsy. Okay, so things here are sturdy and stable, and don't mess with them. Now let's go talk to Colin. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm having a lot of trouble finding my way to get to up there. I want to get there. I want to go there. No, not there. I'm trying to get to Cullen over there, and I don't know how to do it. This way seems blocked off. This way seems blocked off. So I don't know how what else to do here. I'm I feel kind of stuck. Um, here, here's a kind of a non-rhetorical question: Is it possible to reach Cullen at this point, or is that something that like opens up later? I feel like it's not possible to get to him right now, but I also might be just missing an obvious stairway or something. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know what to do. I don't know how to get there. So whatever, I'm going to give up right now, um, which is the key whenever facing life's challenges, is to give up as soon as possible. Um, and instead, I'm going to see how I can progress things and leave this place. <laughs> All right, so I'm out of my pajamas. Wait, no, I'm not. Maybe I don't need gear for this. Uh, how do I play the video game again? Nope, that's not it. I'm trying to figure out how do I get to my, ho my horse. My horse is amazing. Um, that button? Nope, that hits things. Nope, that does something else. There we go. That's the horse button. Can't do it now because I'm in combat, but at least I know how to get it. What did that say? Under protection of the Inquisition, yeah, so I'm getting the sense that at some point that might go away, maybe. Like, maybe someone else will swoop in and take this and I'll have to retake it, recapture it, I don't know. So... If those refugees are going to defend themselves, they'll need real defenses. I've got a few ideas. I was looking for watchtower. I was trying to build watchtowers, and now I marked the places, and I went to the War Council table and built them, and I'm back. I built watchtowers in the areas you recommended. Nicely done. That will give both your refugees and our farmers some warning next time trouble pays a visit. I'll I'm pretty great. The master and have weapons sent to your people at the crossroads. Okay, I'm down for that. What I'm also down for is my new perk. Cole approves. Okay. 
my new perk that says that a certain Liliana can open secret doors now. And there's loot. Just, literally just what I needed. Heavy warden armor, take all. Wait, now I have access to Masterwork Vanguard armor? I don't know what's going on. And the helmet too, probably. Yeah, I'm pretty confused about why I was in pajamas and couldn't even see my armor, but whatever. Um, on that note, let's go here and explore some more locked doors. Here we go. Yeah, so people aren't necessarily su here and here are super happy with what they did with the mages, but they can deal. So a nice shiny golden chest. Masterwork ornate Bianca grip. Yes, please. Oh, something else. Great whiskey, right wine conscription now. Oh, bottles on the wall. Uh, is that 99 bottles reference, or no, um, or is that counting bottles? Um, no, that's flowers on the wall. Um, perhaps local to a handful of Grey Warden companies, these spirits reflect a custom or legend born of utility. Allowed to seize goods to aid their cause, wardens combine half-full bottles to save space while traveling. Oh, so they kind of... Uh, that's kind of gross. Uh, never fully emptied or, as with a kettle, cleaned. Each eventually takes on a base flavor as unique as the warden carrying it. That's disgusting. What do we care? Nothing burns like the first cup. Could be fact, could be tribute. It does seem as though the bottles range farther than the namesake warden could. Yeah, they died beforehand. Bottle marked vintage, warden steed joining juice. <sighs> yep, that's, that was a disgusting thing, but it's also kind of, kind of uh, interesting in terms of how the practicalities of the Great Wardens work. Anyway. Yeah, so someone's like... The people I think we heard overheard just before deciding whether one person wants to be a mage, the other's like, are you kidding me? Did you see what happened to the mages? Um, let's look at this in, in action. Look at those deft hands. We got a little reading material and loot chest. They touched obsidian, so yeah, so some nice crafty material and a book. Lyrium. Ooh, Lyrium. Lyrium is the king of metals. Beneath our feet, it sings. When properly refined, it is a smooth, slightly iridescent, silvery liquid. In the hands of the dwarven smith cast, it is mixed with steel to produce indestructible armor and blades that hold an edge for centuries. In the hands of the shaper, shaper it, it becomes a repository for living memories. Some scholars maintain this as evidence that lyrium is itself alive, and maybe red lyrium is evil. Uh, it finds its most lucrative. It finds its most lucrative its application. Is that a typo? I'm gonna assume it is. It finds its most lucrative application in the hands of the formari, who use it in conjunction with baser metals like gold, silverite, viridium, or even iron to produce enchant enchantments. Although mages, of course, consume it in a diluted form to bolster their abilities, this is not recommended. Overindulgence in lyrium can have disastrous consequences, particularly in more concentrated amounts. It is not advisable, for instance, that any raider handle raw lyrium, which in many cases can kill on contact, except for dwarves, if I'm remembering. An excerpt from an alchemical primer on me of metallurgy, volume 1, by Lord Serastus of Marnus Pell. So that's worth it. If these, if this, um, these little secret, secret areas that my new perk can unlock just have kind of a bit of lore, 
a recipe or two, I am totally cool with that. So what now? Here's what now. Um, I'm going to next time because I'm going to I'm going to wrap up now, but I'm going to return to Skyhold. And any second now is okay. Um, there, Forbidden Oasis. That's my kind of my next spot, um, my next main spot. So yeah, thank you for watching. Wait, specializations. Horses for the Inquisition. No, it sounds like I'm going to be in Scotland for a little while longer, but that's next time. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye-bye.